Hi, this is Bird from birdsvgs.com and in this video I'll be showing you how I put the sewing machine card together. It's styled after the vintage Singer sewing machines. Okay, here are all the pieces that you'll need. And I'm starting with the card insert. Of course it's an optional layer, but I do recommend it inside shape cards. It adds some stability as well as giving you somewhere to write to your recipient. Okay, so once I've added glue to this, I'll pop it on the inside of the card. Making sure that I've got an even border all the way around. And then I'll move on to the card front. Okay, I'm starting with the drawer. Sorry, I'm going off the camera a bit there. Add in the glue and then I'm using the hole to line the pieces up, but you will need to make sure that they're they've got an even border around the outside. And then I've got my little cotton reel to sit on top of my sewing machine. And then I can start adding the black pieces over the gold. I've used some pearlized gold card here because I think it really adds to, to the illusion of the gold being a lacquer over the top of the, the sewing machine. And I'm just going to pop some glue in whenever, wherever I can here. Okay, now this fits directly over the gold piece. You don't want any of the gold showing around the edges if you can. And using wet glue gives you that little bit of wiggle time to get it just into place. Now I can add on my little cotton reel. And I can add on my drawer front. In my sample card, I popped a, an enamel dot into that hole to look like a a drawer handle. Okay, so I'm gluing the front of my card directly down onto my card base. You could use some 3D foam pads here, but I think it helps to keep the needle in place because it's quite delicate. Just placing that with an even border all the way round. Okay, 
And there you have it. A fun sewing machine shaped card. And you'll find the matching envelope within your download.